With the power of modern AI, we can use a deep neural network to take random noise and train on images of all the existing Space Marine chapters and learn to generate new ones, lots of new ones. In fact, these models can generate unlimited new AI generated Space Marine chapters. But how can we do this? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how. So stick around. As I've said, we take random noise and put it through a computer, which then can generate the new chapters. It sounds simple, but I'm gonna explain in a little bit more detail, but not too much, how we actually do this. And then I'll show you loads of new chapters that we've generated. So this was inspired by the wiki, which actually has a list of all the chapters. Well, not all of them, but a lot of the chapters uh, with a picture of the Marine in its armor of that color of the chapter, and then a picture of the shoulder pad with the icon of the chapter. Um, and it's in alphabetical order and it's got loads of them. Um, in total, I think there are a thousand Space Marine chapters, uh, which is quite a lot. Um, and you can download this, uh, these images. So they look a bit like this, that here's the shoulder pads, um, some chapters I've never seen before here, but also some well-known known ones like the Black Templars and the Blood Angels. Um, I managed to get about 250 from the wiki, but it's maybe not enough. Uh, in machine learning, bigger is better, and you want as many data points to train your models as possible. Um, in imaging, people tend to use uh, sort of data banks like ImageNet, which have 10 million images of cats and dogs and all sorts of that. But we don't have that luxury for Space Marine chapters because there aren't 10 million. Um, there's a few hundred, maybe a thousand in, in total, right? Uh, so one of the things we can do is kind of flip the images to, to generate more. So you can see the one at the bottom, but in fact, both have been flipped, but at the bottom you can get a new one by flipping it. So this helps um, to, to get you know more shoulders and more unique shoulder pads for training. And then we get, uh, you know, we have to resize the images using some scripts. There we go. And then we have our data set. Um, so we have this data set of maybe 500 uh, of, of the real and flipped um, shoulder pads. But how do we actually use those? Well, I'm going to give a very brief overview of machine learning, um, but I'm going to leave loads of links in the description if you want to go into this further, because, yeah, obviously this gets quite complicated, but I'm going to keep it really simple to understand what's going on. So we want to go from noise through a deep neural network to generate new chapters. And the neural network could be something like this, which is a UNet. And all this is is a, a collection of lots of different nodes that are all connected together. And um, they, they have sort of mathematical operations. Uh, and they're very clever. They can sort of you know go from one thing to another, a bit like your brain would. Um, and the model we actually use is a generative model, uh, a diffusion-based generative model. And uh, this is kind of like a step-by-step -step iterative process of going from noise to something that's less noisy and more like what you want to eventually um, the main kind of desired uh, image. And it will learn a unique mapping from that random noise vector to an image. So what this means is that you can have an unlimited number of random noise um, images on the left there, will then be able to generate an unlimited number of new chapters, which is really exciting. Um, but does it work? Well, kind of. So we're trying to go from random noise to new chapters, as I said before. Um, and in the training process, I'm gonna actually show you what this thing looks like when it trains. So this is one of the first attempts of the network to generate a, a shoulder and it fails. And it kind of keeps updating itself and it's sort of learning from the data set. And after you know a bunch of goes, it actually almost looks like a shoulder there. And it, gets, it goes on and it gets better. And it sort of jumps around a bit in quality. Um, and, you know, you eventually get to things that look like they could be shoulder pads and um, they get sort of better and better. Sometimes they get worse, but this thing kind of learns. Um, it has to learn lots of different things as it, as it does this. So, um, yeah, after a decent amount of training, <laughs> it's quite a lot, actually, um, This you get to, here we go, you, you start to get skulls appear so you get kind of motifs that are in 40k uh turning up um and maybe you find this interesting maybe you don't um so just to sort of go on here there you go that one looks pretty real right um and you get some that look sort of less real uh and what does this look like for the marine bodies which we also train with well at first 
sort of doesn't work. And then after a few, there you go. That could be the outline of a space marine. And then it sort of gets progressively better on average, even though it does jump around a bit. So that's what this thing kind of looks like. Um, okay, so what do they look like? Well, this is what they look like. Here are some of the AI generated chapters and every single image on your screen was made by AI, by this model. And it, it was produced by giving random noise to the trained model and it made a unique chapter shoulder pad and at the bottom there's some marines so yeah have a look what do you think let me know i know some of these do look quite similar to existing chapters and i'll, I'll explain why in a second um, but i guarantee you these are all unique or model generated even if some of them are very similar to existing chapters and some of them are a bit abstract you know it's not perfect they look a little bit a bit wobbly or a, bit, a little bit random um, and I know the resolution isn't great, but I'm really happy with this. I think it's really cool. And there's a lot of potential here for, well, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so there are a few issues with the model. Um, because the training set size is so small, the model is called overfitting. So the model kind of learns, it sees the training data too much. So it learns to generate chapters that are actually very similar to real ones, which is something we don't really want. We want it to sort of be creative, but it's um, it's not always. So on the right, you can see that this sort of green shoulder pad with the hand uh, that the model makes is actually really, really similar, although not identical to a real chapter. Um, I don't know what it's called, some weird chapter, I don't know. And um, the resolution of my generated ones is about half the resolution of the original images. And this is because uh, my computer's just not good enough to deal with um, images that big it, it, it's these models are very they require really big supercomputers almost to, to, to do on a big scale um, so yeah they're, they're not simple they have a lot of stuff going on they have large memory requirements for training so um, yeah those are probably the two main problems although it is still capable of producing unique chapters so this guy on the left I guarantee you that is a unique space marine chapter generated by my model, um, I'm, unless you tell me otherwise, uh, that is not a, uh, that combina combination of colors is unique and completely generated by AI, which learn from real ones. Even though it is quite close to this real chapter, it's it's clearly different um, in terms of the color combinations. It looks kind of cool. It's kind of asymmetric. It's got like a, a red glove and on one side, and uh, and uh, you know it's a bit it's a bit weird, but but I kind of like it. Um, so thank you so much for watching. What's the future of this project? This is just the start. I really wanna share more of these ideas that I've got and some of the things that I've done. So on screen now are a few more different chapters that the model has generated. Um, and I know a few of these are definitely similar to uh, real ones, but they are all unique and generated by the model. And I wanna keep improving the model um, and maybe using new models and maybe looking for sort of more data if I can find it. So I only used chapters, for example, but there are also, within each chapter, there are um, sort of different armor styles. So for example, for Blood Angels, they have the Death Company, and for Dark Angels, they have the Death Wing and the Raven Wing. So I could definitely get more uh, kind of Space Marine armor with a bit more work or start looking at homebrew chapters. But the key thing is it's sort of in the same format for the model to be able to really learn efficiently and to output in that same format. Um, and I also wanna take the AI generated Marines to the tabletop. So I'd love to actually pick one that the AI has generated and paint one up. I think that's a really cool concept that I'll have a unique Marine uh, with colors that the AI has generated. Um, and let me know what you think. That's the most important thing. I really want to take this somewhere um, and maybe, you know, in a, in a few months, it might be possible that I could open source this and people could just just go onto a website and, and generate their own AI generated space marines. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more. And I do other stuff on the channel too, uh, more sort of tabletop stuff and talking about the models and whatever. Um, but I'm also going to keep this project rolling. So thank you so much for listening and have a great day.